No plug-in or other compressor quite compares to the warm, forgiving, fluid qualities of the classic 2A optical compressor. The WA-2A uses the highest quality custom input and output transformers made by Cinemag USA Transformers. The WA-2A also uses premium grade tubes and a T4B optical module made by Kenetech USA, which is considered by many to be the world's finest. We are confident you will love recording with the WA-2A. Let's go over the features. The power switch is used to power the unit on and off. The VU meter light will indicate if the unit is powered on. To extend the life of the electronics, please turn the WA-2A off when not in use. The limit compress switch has two functions. In compress mode, the WA-2A operates as a signal compressor with a compression ratio that is fixed, but also somewhat source dependent. In limit mode, the ratio of the compressor is raised much closer to infinity, allowing the WA-2A to behave more like a hard limiter. The difference between these settings can be subtle with lower amounts of gain reduction, but become more audible with heavier amounts of compression. The output gain adjusts the amount of makeup gain applied to the output. The WA-2A has approximately 40 dB of available gain. In practical use, this is generally much more gain than required, and care should be taken to start off at a safe recording level, adjusting as needed. Peak reduction adjusts the amount of compression applied by the WA-2A by raising or lowering the compression threshold. The WA-2A can apply nearly 40 dB of gain reduction. As a general rule, we suggest to start with a moderate amount of peak reduction and adjust further by ear to achieve the desired amount of compression. Meter Select controls what information is conveyed by the VU meter. Gain reduction, output measured at plus 10 dB above meter, or output measured at plus 4 dB above meter. Plus 4 dB is an industry standard measurement. However, a plus 10 dB scale can help the VU meter to convey more dynamic information within louder signals by providing the VU meter additional headroom to operate in. Pre-emphasis adjusts the sidechain audio that directs the optical module to compress. Set to standard, the sidechain audio is set flat and the opto module responds to peaks across the full bandwidth of the audio source in a normal manner. As you move the control clockwise, the WA-2A will become less responsive to low-frequency plosives. This control does not change the tone or the bandwidth of the actual audio output, but merely the sidechain audio that the opto module responds to. The meter adjust knob on the front left simply zeroes the meter when the meter is set to gain reduction mode. Connect the accompanying power cord to power the unit. The WA-2A can operate at 115 volts AC, 60 Hz, or 230 volts AC, 50 Hz, depending on the position of the voltage selector switch. Before connecting power or powering on your unit, use this switch to select the correct voltage for your location. The ground lug provides a chassis ground connection for the WA-2A, a common feature on many pieces of vintage recording equipment. This type of ground terminal is rarely used in a modern studio setting due to the earth-grounded three-pin AC being the norm in most parts of the world. Stereo Link allows two units to operate in stereo mode with a shared threshold response. This is done by blending the side chain signal, sometimes referred to as control voltage, of both units through a standard TRS quarter inch patch cable. Stereo Link is useful for accurate tracking of a stereo instrument, such as a keyboard, sampler, or drum machine, or accurate processing of a stereo bus in a mix. Stereo Link operation does not disable any front panel control. Keep both units set the same as well as level matched through the output gain control in order to have a good stereo image. The balanced output provides a transformer coupled balanced line level output for the WA-2A via both XLR and quarter inch TRS. The outputs are wired in parallel and it is not recommended to use both outputs at the same time. For unbalanced operation, short XLR pin 3 to pin 1 on your XLR cable via a jumper, which requires soldering or simply use an unbalanced mono quarter inch TS patch cable, which effectively creates the same configuration. Thank you for purchasing the Warm Audio WA-2A. We feel this product offers the best in terms of the sound, function, and vibe from the classic era of analog recording. 
Whether this is the first piece of outboard gear you've ever purchased outside of a recording interface, or merely the first in a long time, we thank you and welcome you back to the world of analog.